This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Need a website and don't know how? Make it with Squarespace. It has been a while since I've done a sit back and relax sketchbook spread video. So let's do some doodles. But mostly I wanted to try out this Sakura Jelly Roll Stardust pen that is clear drawing glitter. I just wanna know what this pen is all about. Okay, totally random question, but I think this is what I'm going to base this sketchbook spread on. Has anyone else made their lemon pig for the new year? You, what, you don't know what a lemon pig is? Let me tell you, it's a pig you make out of a lemon, four toothpicks for legs, some foil or wire for a little tail, and um, what's that called? Clothes. Those are clothes for its eyeballs that are now popping out of its shriveled head. You cut some ears, cut its mouth, put a penny in its mouth, but my, my, oh my gosh, look at his mouth. His mouth is opened and the penny has fallen out. But here's my lemon pig this year. How moldy and disgusting will he get? I don't know, but I want to draw him. I want to put a big old lemon pig in the middle of the sketchbook spread. And then we'll do silly little lemon pig doodles around the outside. As the lemon shrinks and his eyes pop out of his head, it's, it's absolutely horrifying. But he's my son. And I feel like I must accept him for who he is. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, this is this is my son. I was curious about the origins of the lemon pig because when I streamed making this little guy, my chat really wanted to know if I made this up or where it came from. So I was curious. I couldn't find the original origins, but the meme picture or the picture that a lot of people used when talking about the lemon pig is a clipping from a little craft book that has the iconic picture of the lemon pig and instructions on how to make it. I was curious about the origins of this craft book, so I looked up the craft book and it turns out it was made by a aluminum foil company and every single craft that I can tell from the, the pictures on the front of this book, every single craft has aluminum foil involved in some way in the project. For the pig example, you were supposed to roll up a bit of aluminum foil and curl it into a tail shape. And just as a joke, because this was a, I don't know, plan from big foil to make money, to get people to buy more foil and use their foil with other things. I didn't use the aluminum foil, but it turns out that the wire I used was aluminum. But yeah, as far as the origins of the pig go, I don't know. They, it's been around for over a hundred years. I think I read somewhere that it was in the 1800s they were making this pig. I don't know anything about the country, where it came from, who it came from, exactly why. But it's become quite a little meme, I feel like especially in the art community because it is just so goofy. Fun to draw, it's a little craft, and I see it all over my Twitter line around New Year's. So yeah, in case you're wondering, that that's basically the lemon pig. It gives you good fortune uh, in the new year. This is my first lemon pig, so we'll we'll see how much good fortune I get out of this guy. My hopes are not high. Oh no, I forgot his little coin. I completely forgot because my little guy doesn't have his coin anymore. In Canada, we actually don't have pennies anymore, but I happen to find a single Canadian penny amongst all of my random change, so. I was able to use a Canadian penny. So we've got our classic lemon pig here in the middle. I thought it would be cute to create different sort of pigs that are yellow and lemony themed all around. Let's draw a lemon pig with cute leafy ears. What about a super simple, just a cute little lemon pig, but it's not, it's inspired by the lemon pig, but it's not fully a lemon pig. It's like a lemon creature. What about a long lemon pig? It kind of, this just kind of looks like a pig with weird nail eyes. Why did I give it weird nail eyes? What is this? I don't know what's happening. Okay, but how about a lemon pig and instead of using toothpicks for its legs, we use like bamboo skewers and it has super long legs. Now imagine this thing walking towards you. How horrifying. What about a little guy? This guy is just a little guy. Okay, you know what, I'll say it. Their noses aren't very pig-like, but I do like the shape of the nose because it's just so simple and cute and weird. I feel like I just keep drawing more and more simple lemon pigs as simple and silly as I can get them. They're part lemon, 
part pig and 100% silly and fun to doodle. Okay, I've warmed up with all of my pig-like doodles. Let's start moving on to more like humanoid character designy doodles. I mean, let's be honest, it's, it's gonna be more weirdness. Um, you may be asking yourself, and you know what? I'm asking myself the same question. Why did I just give this pig nipples? Well, I don't have an answer to that. Let's move on. Okay, I absolutely love this little guy. He's just a little, a little lemon guy holding a coin. He's, again, vaguely pig-shaped. I love him. actually kind of freaking me out. It's kind of creepy. I don't know. There's too many angles and weirdness about it. Okay, all of the sketches have been penciled. It is time to ink and color and then add some glitter to these doodles. But first, I want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you're like me and you don't know how to make a website, Squarespace is perfect for you. Look, I took a website design class in college. It was bad. And thanks to Squarespace's flexible website templates, I've got a well-designed website that's easy to customize, easy to update. Do you know what Fluid Engine is? I don't, but apparently it's a next generation website design system from Squarespace. It's got drag and drop technology technology, unbreakable creativity, fluid engine, who would have thunk? You can even sell your products online with their online stores. Whether you're selling physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. So what are you waiting for? Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash caseygolden to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Let's finish these pigs. First things first, I gotta ink this guy because this is my absolute favorite. I don't know why. I just love this little guy. leg pig so I definitely want to ink that guy. I love this just simplistic just is, is, is it a pig? Is it a lemon? Who knows? And why not? This little guy too. I like these guys. They're cute doodles. <laughs> at how not watercolor friendly this sketchbook is, but that's okay. It's fun for texture and um, it's a sketchbook. It's a sketchbook, not a masterpiece book. After sketching all of our actually fun and cute lemon pigs, this center, I guess, what would you call it? Control group pig is very boring. Sorry, little guy, but you're just kind of there. Let's color the fun one. The original lemon pig doesn't have any leaves, but I felt like with the character design, we did have to get some extra color in there and the ears were just a perfect leaf opportunity. I had to do it. And honestly, it worked. The colors are great. The leaf ears are super cute. I'm in love with this stupid lemon pig humanoid freak character. It's just so weird. It kind of reminds me of like a cursed Animal Crossing character. I know there's an orange cat, but I don't think there's a lemon pig. And if there was, it would definitely be a lot cuter than this guy. This guy is so scary. Or would it? I don't know, Animal Crossing? 
They've got some cursed looking characters. The color palette on this page is great though. It's so bright and colorful. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, the shimmery pen. There's a few obvious things we can add some glitter to. The tail. Oh, you know what? After I did the UV invisible ink pen, I do wonder how well this is going to work on watercolor. And oh my God, it looks like they're actually working really well. Oh my gosh. That is very glittery. Oh, this would be so much fun for like a space drawing. Can you even see how glittery it is? You can kind of see the light reflection. Okay, but what if we went over the coin? Would that be distracting? I feel like, yes, the ink itself is clear, but the sparkles are just so intense that they kind of have, you know, I mean, they're obviously not see-through sparkles. They're, they take up space. What if I completely filled this orange circle? How would that go? I gotta know. You definitely can't, well, I don't know. You can kind of see what I'm doing in the camera. You can definitely see the light reflecting off of the glitter. So you can sort of see what I'm doing. I'm also having to tilt my head in a certain way to see where I'm applying the glitter. Otherwise it's really hard to see what I've done and what I haven't done. But yeah, that is, you can definitely tell on this orange that is a very shimmery shiny glitter wow look at that this is i mean the camera will never pick it up but you can definitely see it's reflective what about some simple shines this is going to be my go-to pen when it comes to space illustrations for sure it is so sparkly it gives a slight gray i'm impressed though i do have to wonder Oh no, if glitter is your enemy, hoo -hoo, it definitely rubbed off on my finger. So just beware that if you use this pen, you're probably going to have glitter everywhere. Maybe some glitters coming off of this <laughs> lemon pig as it runs. I don't know. This was definitely a fun doodly sketchbook page with our lemon pig. Never drawn a lemon pig before. Make yourself a lemon pig, it's never too late. Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!